Hi, welcome back to Pink Aura Tarot. This is a general love reading for Capricorns for July 2019. I didn't get a chance to do the June readings. I can't remember if I did May or not. But um, yeah, this is a general love reading for Capricorns. So, okay, so you guys got... Um, oh, also I'm using the Romance Angels Oracle cards. And I just clarified them with um, just regular um, tarot cards. So, okay, um, you guys got, um, reconciliation. I think I'm saying it right, but, um, you guys got reconciliation and you guys also got the nine of swords. So I feel like, um, there could be somebody from your past that's returning. Um, and this person could be kind of scared. Like it could be like having anxiety about coming towards you to like um rec reconcile um or this could be you like this person could have did something in the past to you and then they tried to um you know come back but it's almost like you're kind of scared or um nervous like you have some sort of anxiety that they're gonna um like possibly like hurt you again so it could be either or um and you guys also got Stay optimistic about your love life. Um, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance with the Page of Swords. So um, with the Page of Swords, I feel like um, I feel like this is not you, Capricorns. I feel like this is the other person. Like somebody could be interested in you. And so they're trying to get more information on you. Or they're like, they could be like spying on you. Um like this person might not be your type but um like they're just saying to um be optimistic about your um your love life it could it's probably not going the way you thought um that you thought or that you planned that it was gonna go um with that page of swords so you guys also got trust with the ten of wands or rods so um, with this trust card, it says this situation is calling for you to have faith. Um, and then with the ten of rods or wands, um, this talks about basically like walking by faith and not by sight. I feel like that's um, what it means. I don't know if it's the by sight part, but um, the ten of rods is like basically um, not really knowing where um, where you're headed. Um but the fact that he has like all those wands in his hand, it's like he's just um, basically like having faith. Um, he's like walking by faith. So they're just saying to um, have faith or it could be um, like somebody could be holding some, some sort of burden. But I don't feel like that's the situation. I feel like this is more so dealing with faith. Or somebody could be holding some sort of burden. They like they feel like it's not gonna work out, but they're saying to have faith. Um, and you guys also got flirt with the three of cups. So um with the flirt card, it says extend your lighthearted energy to others. Um with the three of cups, um, I feel like they're just saying like just go have like um try to go out and celebrate. Like you could just like go out with friends. Um like some of you guys could be like feeling sort of like anti-social a little bit. So they're just saying to um like they're encouraging you to go out with friends, have fun, or maybe even like go out by yourself. I'm like honestly, I'm not the type of person that like go out by myself. Um, but I feel like we all should learn how to um, you know, go out by ourselves. But they're just saying to um go out, celebrate, um, go out with friends, um, and just extend your lighthearted energy to others. So, I'm going to pull some angel oracle cards, angel answer oracle cards, and see what we get for Capricorns. What other messages do you have for Capricorns in regards to love? Okay, so you guys got remain positive. Okay, so it says remain positive. So remain positive. The angels are asking you to keep an optimistic attitude. There is there is a very positive momentum beginning 
to build toward the creation of your dream of your desires you're <laughs> you're speeding your dreams along by maintaining cheerful and confident demeanor it may seem as though your plans are taking a long time to manifest but very soon you will see a change don't allow yourself to lose hope when your dreams are so close to coming true so basically um I feel like the whole overall energy like of your um love life um for July is like basically to have faith and remain positive cuz um like for some of you it's almost like your plans are like something like something's not going your way and you feel like it's not working out so you might be like you might have like a negative attitude towards it but they're saying to remain positive and to have faith because it's going to work out are you going to find somebody that you like um so yeah let's pull some tarot cards okay let's see what we have for capricorns in regards to love for July 2019 this is my first time like shuffling on camera I'm kind of nervous <laughs> okay what messages do we have for Capricorns in regards to love for July 2019 what messages do we have for Capricorns in regards to love for July 2019. What messages do we have for Capricorns in regards to love for July 2019? messages do we have for Capricorn for Capricorns in regards to love for J July Okay, so I pulled six cards. Um, so the first card that came out was the Justice card. So I feel like um, some of you guys are going to, um, like the skills are going to be balanced when it comes to your love life. It might not seem like that right now. Um, or you guys could be dealing with a Libra. Um, you could be walking away from a Libra with the Eight of Cups here. But I feel like you guys are, um, like you could be walking away from a Libra. That could be like for some of you guys and you're walking into, um, a situation that, um, that's going to be your Ten of Cups. And with the, um... The Recon reconciliation card um, for the romance angel cards that popped out. Um, the person you could be, like the person that could be coming back um, could be a Libra. And so you feel like you need to walk away from them. Because I feel like that's not really, like that, I feel like that situation is kind of like shaky a little bit. Because um, the Nine of Swords came out and it's like, um, like some sort of anxiety or whatever. 
So, um, yeah, I feel like you guys could be walking away from this person. And it's like you're walking towards something better, which is the Ten of Cups. And so you guys also got the Judgment card, too. So it's like you're going to be getting your just do with, um, if you make that decision to walk away from that situation and you could you could have been married to um to that libra i don't know with the justice card here you could have been married to them like you guys could have got a divorce and everything and then they try to come back um but yeah i feel like you, some of you guys are going to walk away or you need to walk away from that situation um so that you can get your ten of cups and your just do with the judgment card like somebody's probably like finally waking up to that situation and so they're um making the decision to walk away um and then you guys also got the nine of pentacles which some of you guys could be like single um but i don't feel like you're going to be single for long that's like for some of you guys and some of you guys could be like kind of scared to walk away because you're going to be single but um I just feel like that situation is probably not good to stick around in. So it's like, you know, it's okay to be single. And you guys also got the Ten of Swords. So that's why I said some of you guys, um, some of you guys that are single, you probably won't be single that long with the Ten of Swords here. So that's like an ending to that. Um, let's see what other cards, what other messages do we have for Capricorns in regards to love? What other messages do we have for Capricorns in regards to love? the messages that we have for Capricorns in regards to love okay so we got the tower all right so you guys got um the four of cups so um it fell right underneath the judgment card so I feel like you guys could have rejected um the person that you were dealing with like they could have um tried to come back like this could have already happened or is about to happen um like this could happen like next year sometime but um with the four of cups i feel like you guys finally woke up to the situation and then you um rejected their offer and so you guys also got the tower and the tower fell right underneath the nine of cups so yeah i feel like your relationship status is going to be changing like if you're single you're not going to be single that long let's um i want to clarify the tower Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here for Capricorns? Okay, so you guys got the Hermit card um, clarified with the tower. So um, some of you guys could have just been... Um, some of you guys could have been single for a long time. And it's almost like you spent a lot of time with yourself. Um, like you went within after that situation that happened um this could be like for some of you guys or this could be like a whole different situation but um yeah you guys um i feel like something is going to change um or you could be dealing with a virgo <laughs> you could be dealing with a virgo um so it's almost like this virgo might just come in out of nowhere Like, you guys could be meeting a Virgo just, like, randomly um, with the Tower card here. Um, yeah, let's see what um, this Ten of Swords is. Cause it's like an ending to something. Why does the Ten of Swords here? I 
Okay, so you guys got the Five of Pentacles um, with the um, Ten of Swords. So, um, you guys could have left somebody out in the cold or... Um, Or this is like how you were feeling. Like you could have been feeling like kind of lonely a little bit um, with the ten. Of, well, yeah, with the five of pentacles. But I feel like this is this is um, this is like how you were before. But this is ending um, with the ten of swords. So some of you guys could have been feeling like kind of lonely or like feel like somebody left you out in the cold um, for a while. But I feel like it's changing. Um, with the Ten of Swords. Okay, so let's see what other messages we get. What additional messages do you have for Capricorns in regards to love for July 2019? Okay, so you guys got the Three of Pentacles. Um, you could be um, building something new with this Virgo. Um, or this Virgo could be... Um, like watching you from a well, not really watching you from afar, but um, like you could have met this person like online or something with the three of pentacles. Um, so it's almost like this, they might just come out of the blue, like just randomly. Um, no way, I just feel like okay, so. You, you guys could have been, some of you guys could have been dealing with a, um, a Virgo. Um, or you could have met this Virgo like through like some sort of online dating thing with the Three of Pentacles. Um, or some of you guys could be um, on some sort of like online dating thing or whatever with the Three of Pentacles. But some of you guys could be, um, like somebody could be like watching your social media or something. Um, the page of swords isn't out, but I just like with the three of pentacles, um, majority of the time it's like the page of swords is going to come out. It's like, um, you know, dealing like with love readings. Um, let's clarify the three of pentacles. Cause like most likely when the three of pentacles come out the page of swords come out like somebody's always watching somebody's social media or like stalking them <laughs> um why is it three of swords i mean three of pentacles here yeah so <laughs> um with the three of cups so <clears throat> Yeah, some of you guys could be um, doing like some sort of online dating type of thing or um, yeah, some of you guys could have been doing some sort of online dating thing or um, I can't even... <laughs> So you could have been doing some sort of online dating thing and it's almost like you finally found the person um, that you're interested in. It's like you guys could have went out on a date or something. It's like finally you found someone that you're like interested in and it could be a Virgo um, with the Hermit card. Um, We did have the, um, this is like some sort of rejection. So you guys could have been doing, you know, the whole online dating thing. And, um, 
it's like you could have been rejecting offers, but then it's like finally somebody, um, like you finally like meet up with somebody. I don't know anything about like online dating things, um, dating, um, apps or like sites or whatever. So I don't really know how it goes, but, um, I'm sure you guys like exchange and messages or whatever. So, um, you could have been like rejecting people's offers or it could, it could be the other way around. Like somebody rejected your offer. Um, and then you finally found someone, um, to date. So you don't have to use the online dating thing anymore. So that was all of the messages that I got today. Um, if you want to book a personal reading with me. You can email me um, at pinkoratero at gmail.com and I'll leave all of my info in the description box. So that was your love reading for July 2019.